on Bob. This is the encore. <laughs> the encore to too drunk. There's my good. There's my good buddy. Boy, Bob. Now I know why I need to constantly apologize. I never thought I would be that drunk, you know, to be that drunk guy. But I, I guess I am. I mean, I like you. First off, for the this is your encore. Our encore episode of two. Are, are we going with two drunk Yanks abroad? I think we need a preface that we're abroad. What do you think, Bob? Of course we do. All right. Well, first off, I think we everyone needs the, the gong, like the gong show or some sound, right, to initiate the, the podcast. So here we go, Bobby. There we go. Let's crack that. <laughs> Let's crack that one. Wish it. I just opened mine, so... Oh, I, I know. Well, that. see, that's got to be our thing, man. We cheers. We, we got to crack it open together. Cheers. Uh, first we, off, let's get that, the... the you should have brought that on. That, you should have brought that shit up in show prep. Yes, we yes. Had, no, Bob. We, we had an hour of we're show We're too, prep. We're too we poor. We can't... We don't have that time for show prep. Fuck's sake, man. We're still... Both of us are on call for our English gigs while we're still doing this shit. We don't have the money. Uh, let's get rid of the, the big gorilla in the room. What happened to your lips, Bobby? You're sucking off albinos? What's going on? I I woke up on Saturday morning and my lips were swollen and also all of the inside of my mouth hurt like fuck. Is that medicine or is that just your, is that natural now or what? No, it's, it's medicine. Jesus, Bob. You look like a fucking Chicago copper from the 60s and 70s eating eating donuts, eating not glazed dough, powdered donuts. <laughs> Is that any better? Did I get it all? I remember there's a there's a backstory. I think my my one buddy he got a ticket and it was like I don't it was one of those like in betweeners, I think, that he didn't know if it was legal, illegally parked or not. But so he caught the, like he was just infuriated. Like how the story went, I wasn't there, but he's a typical, it's like you, man. He can become a hot-headed Scotsman, McKinney, last name McKinney, right? And so his dad was a, like a really famous surgeon, plastic surgeon. He could Wait. afford the ticket. Like the kid could afford Mc the McKinney, ticket. McKinney, that's not a Scotsman, that's a Jew. That is, uh, probably, yes. Well, <laughs> well, you guys are the Jews of the UK, you know that. Uh, so he goes to, he, he's like, this is ludicrous. And Cam can just, he just turned a switch, I think. If this is the, the story I want. But he was, he was, what was more appalling? He said that he, he could have vouched that he was in a safe spot. The ticket had uh, a jelly donut thumbprint on the fucking ticket. So Cam went berserk and he hunted down in his car the cop that was still giving tickets. It must have been that day of the month. And he just let out so many expletives. You fat fucking fuck. And they go say, you know, just exactly what I just said. He goes, you've had to make it worse with the donut stain on it. And this is before the internet and on, like before cops like were held to accountability, right? So the cops like, he's just on the street on a bicycle or some shit. And he's just got this rich kid and like whatever and a pathfinder is just yelling at him going you fat fuck like in the middle of chicago street i mean he's just like probably what the fuck anyway from that uh on to yeah i, I, I want to tell you about my day first but talking about power bob i don't know what to think but uh I, but think about this i want your answers on all of the trump's picks because a lot of them blew my mind but the reason right so if anyone if this catches on miraculously our, t our podcast <laughs> that we can't afford a room. Although I was thinking, Bob, I like your, I like the world map. And like, at least that's the only thing that we got going for us, right? <laughs> is, is yes, is the, the pricey, yes, perfect, perfect. The pricey world map. That, yeah. Um, yeah, the Harris campaign spent one point. And they're in debt. I know. I know. Yes. On, on this set. Yes, on yes, set yes, set. yes. Right here. If that doesn't show, yeah, if that doesn't show how incompetent that administration was financially and where they were leading that leading our country, if that doesn't say it all right there, that they couldn't even 
that they colossally fucked up their own campaign financially, right? And um, my my dog my dog might make an appearance, and she's demanding not five hundred k. Yeah, if you haven't seen Bob, so I'm surprised. That's the first time I haven't heard this dog bark at all. So what's going on at your place now? Just mulling around. Um, so the backstory: Bob and I lived together. That's that's again, Bob. That's like I don't remember. I was watching bits of our first episode. Uh, but I don't remember. I mean, we talked about anus a little bit, but for anybody that dares watch this hour, because Bob and I worked at this totally fake, I think we talked about it a little bit, this totally fake Vietnamese university. But your dog was no, just... I'm fucking American. <laughs> <universe. laughs> All right. What are you well, right, about? right. I Forgive American me. American University of Science. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, yes, yes. Yes. The, o- the only, the only, the only oh, science, the only science that has crossed that place, have been transvestites. Where you have to ask yourself, how the fuck scientifically did that come about? That's the only science that has come in and out of that place. So, but Bob, your dog was it? I think it was probably because the place was too small. But your dog was just crazy living at Vin Homes. No, she she um, she marks the the hell out of the neighbors and the the it's it's but I don't blame her because the kids I have a lot of kids living here and they taunt her. Oh no! Into barking. So. <laughs> right, 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 right. And sometimes I go out there and I'm I'm like pretending to open the door. Right. I'm like you know, and pointing at them and going, "Lucky kill." Yeah, Lucky. right. Sure, sure. Did you? <laughs> you could tra- like, why didn't you train it to sick your wife's uh, or whatever your 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 woman's boyfriend? Why didn't you train it to do that? Because he's a fat fuck. <laughs> he's a short fat fuck. There's another episode just in, into itself having Bob talk about this this fella. Um, so let me. So then again, Bob and I we have a lot in common, and we both taught here in China. I'm I'm in northern China right now. Bob's in Saigon, Ho Chi Minh. Um, so Bob, they wanted me to do this, like fill up my time. Basically, not the white monkey, but they they screwed up my fall term not assigning me enough classes, right? So, but we're paying this guy. So let's, we got to dust off the monkey, right? You know how that is. So I think I told you this. They gave me a three week, six day workshop for my fellow colleagues. Total, always Chinese, you know, much. I'm trying to be diplomatic. You guys have only caught me on my first beer. Maybe after the third or fourth, Bob, I'll I'll tell you how it really is. And Bob can, Bob, you're, I love you, man, because you're like you're more you're just as honest, sober as you are, like three or four beers deep. But I'm watching that episode, our first one what was that last week, man. I I don't recognize myself. I'm like just totally, like belligerent. Like you can you can just maintain that equilibrium like all day. But I guess that's why I get. I mean, I I get eighty sixth. But I don't think. Let's jump back. We're going back to that now. Like so, Bob's been with me on what two, at least two occasions where I've gotten eighty-six out of yeah. bars. At least, <laughs> but at least. So two. I don't remember. So I mean, can, how did how did it go down? How did it? What was it? Rabbit hole was one. What was the name of that dump that was owned by an Irishman? It was a rabbit hole, and you were arguing about receipts. And, <laughs> well, and- don't you agree? That I remember now. So we were ordering, if, for, for everybody that's watched the first episode thus far, Bob and I like to drink. Hence the name of the, the podcast, all right? We're, we're drinkers. No, no one or anything is ever going to change that for me, Bob. It's kind I of like... Never t- I've never touched a drop of alcohol <laughs> right, in yes, my yes. life. But Char- like Charlton Heston with the rifle, my cold, dead hands, you're going to get that beer... <laughs> beer out of mine, right? So, so I was so Bob and I liked this one. I think I I found it first, yeah, right? You found it, yeah. And it, it was a nice watering hole. It was, it was 
Like for Saigon standards, it's it's an Irish and was owned by an Irishman with his right with his uh, Vietnamese wife, I, I think. The only yes. problem is now. Correct me if I'm wrong. Bob's lived in Vietnam a lot longer than I have. They're 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 not like. First off, they're not as honest as the Chinese, and they're definitely. I don't know. And it's always like in their favor. I just find them very slippery when it comes to the bills. Not as not as bad as the Cambodians. Cambodians, forget it. Like if you give a five, you're not getting changed back from a tuk tuk at all. But <laughs> Vietnamese, Bob, I mean, are they like, they're generally, it's not in your favor, and it's generally like they laugh about it. They're generally like goofy about the bills, right? Um, so I'll, I'll, I have to uh, counterpoint. If, if, if they know that you know what the fuck is up, <laughs> right, right. they're not going to fuck with you. Okay. But if you and don't know, then yeah, they're, <laughs> right, right. they're just added a, another zero to the bill. Right. So, but for instance, in your life now, you've run a tab. Is it still outstanding, or did you wind up paying that one off below? I, I paid it off today, but I'm I'm gonna open it up again. <laughs> okay, <laughs> right for beer. So now. Now, Bob, that would never happen. I don't, I, I mean, maybe, like in San Francisco or Chicago, like if you've lived there for years, right, and you're a good customer, I, I, I still can't see that ever transpiring, like in Chicago. There's no way. No, yeah. it, there's no way here either. It's just I have some kind of charm. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Where I, I, I sat down and I was very polite and I asked the woman, Hey, uh, can I order beer today and pay you tomorrow? Right. But I, it was, I mean, obviously it wasn't in English. It for wasn't all for all the people uh, our age, right? That's from like Popeye, who's a hamburger. The hamburger. Yeah. What's his name? The hamburger burglar, or whatever. I happily pay you on two. Yes. Yeah, so can I have three hamburgers today for the price of two <laughs> tomorrow? <laughs> or something. What was that character's name? Do you remember that? See, I, I want to say wimpy, but it's... No, see, that's uh, why we need, like, all of the successful podcasts have a producer to... Can you check that? Can you pull that up? <laughs> right? Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. Uh, we'll, we'll I, I can see the guy and... Wimpy? Everything. Wimpy? Wimpy. Maybe. wimpy. It, it could be wimpy. Yeah, yeah. Good, I, Bob. Good, good. Yeah, I, I'm, I'll be... I'm the producer. Good. And I'm the smarter of us too. Yeah, well, that's so. that's for sure. That's for sure. And, and the most, and the and the most hung. Yes. Um, so, what and the, gonna... lo- the least the least educated. <laughs> well, Bob, I mean, when I've gotten all my degrees from anus, it doesn't you know, it doesn't take that. It's not that great. Uh, so, so this is it. Going back to teaching in China. Now, Bob, you only taught at one school here though you only had the pleasure or displeasure of teaching only at one right no i taught at one two three four five six what how many years are you here bob i thought you were only here one or two years at the same place i was there four years oh and you taught at six different places no seven easy oh bob dare dare i ask what happened there (laughs) <laughs> like how did that what happened um so uh, of course i wasn't a free agent no no right you're you I know that's for anybody that hasn't taught in china that's the indentured servitude type of work visa so you can really only work for that company but yeah sorry go ahead bob so they would just send me to a place and then they would say all right that was good work now you need to go here. You're right. And oh, here. I see. oh, I see. No, no, no. But you, in essence, you only you taught for one Lao Ban, one boss, and then they outsourced you. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All so, right. So the the thing was, I started at like fourth, no, third and fourth grade in kindergarten, and eventually was escalated to high school. Escalated to high school. 
Um, no, actually, it was um, high school the, with the honors class. The, all the all the students that wanted to go to foreign university. Right. So. No. Yeah. Uh, wait. I we just got seg sidetracked of where I was going though. I was saying. So yeah, so they dusted me off though, right? And I was trying to think like, you just you didn't have that display, but you did. You kind of did. You had the you had the the full Monty experience, I think. Then you uh, you must have. I, I was there long enough. Yeah. So they dusted me off for this six day whatever bullshit. And it's always like four hours. I'm like, no, no, no teacher after teaching all day wants to sit and listen to a foreigner for four hours. So I'm always like, now I've learned like to put myself in their shoe. Imagine, Bob, you and I are at San Francisco State, right? Or wherever I'm at, you know, DePaul City School in one of our home cities. And we've got a Chinaman coming in, teaching us four hours after we've taught all day. Right, like I mean, you'd be, you know, it's like fuck off, like no way. To, right? to be polite, I'll yeah, give you four, forty-five minutes. Right, maybe, right, 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 right. Maybe fifty. Right, so right there, I'm like, I understand that. So I'm like, okay, there's no way. Like you can, t you can tell me, you can assign me four hours. I'm not going to teach four hours. So that's what my goal is. And then I'm also like an applied. Right, that's Western. The difference between Western and Eastern education is that I'm an applied teacher. They, I want my students to use the material that they're learning. I'm not always dictatorial, lecture based, right, which blows their mind, right? Socratic method, Bob, you know that, right, to ask questions. So then you've had the full, the full experience, the full Monty, as I said, that being shuffled around different ages. So then you know, by, and you did teach university here too, right? One year or no? Yeah. I yeah. So I then you know that the styles, brother, are just totally different. I mean, these fuckers <laughs> just stand. I don't hear one student talk for the two hour classes that we like, you know, that are near me. It's just Chinese, just from that teacher. And I'm like, why in today's day and age, especially in today's day and age? Not just for the students' benefit to apply learning, to, to learn the craft, and to, to better themselves with it. Why in today's day and age, when they can watch two masters of intoxication on YouTube, right, talk fluent, well, in, like, but you see what I'm saying, Bob, like, why not just watch a master in oncology from the best, right, teach it from the best medical university? Why are they listening to some dipshit? You talking about Dr. Long? Yes, 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 yes. Bob, that's that's a whole hour. That's an easy hour of just dedicated was, to him. Like, yeah. It was too easy. That yes, was yes, 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 yes. I had to grab him. I had no choice. But so then, like, at the end of the day, I'm like, what? Like, what am I doing here? And of course, nothing's ever answered correctly. You know, like they don't understand my question. You know, like I don't understand their English. I'm speaking, you know, and for everyone that knows, I'm a pretty lazy American. I'll be honest. Like I came to China thinking everyone speaks English. <laughs> like I'm not going to learn any Chinese. I mean, the only reason I learned their language is I'm, I got so tired of them butchering my language that I was like, fuck it. No more haros. I'm going to start saying ni hao. And then I just graduated and gra you know, gradually graduated to now I speak much better than I think even my English colleagues here, right? Because they just don't practice enough. So that's that. So anyway, Bob, I just needed to get that off my chest, man. It was just another whirlwind of bullshit, and I got another one tomorrow. But I wanted to discuss, we got to discuss, I think, hot topics is what maybe gets us uh, subscribers, I guess. Uh, so what do you think about the Trumpsters' picks, man? I don't know. Kind of blew my mind. Where do you want to start? Uh, should we go for the the number one? Is kind of wild, in my opinion. Is Matt Gates is the top law dog? Uh, that, I mean, that like this guy doesn't have enough of his problems, like his history. Yeah, but on the other hand, um, he's got what two bronze stars? Matt Gates. Oh, sorry. I'm no, thinking. that's yeah. <laughs> that's what that's Hegsworth, right? Isn't it 
Hegesworth? Yeah. yeah. So, all right. He he doesn't have two bronze stars, but. You know, no, and again, it's the, like we need a you know this is will be the folly of our podcast because we just we don't have that producer to like whisper in her ear like Matt Gates he was that he was a panhandle <laughs> congressman who who right allegedly Bob now was indicted or I think wasn't even bumped off Congress because he sex with underage girls allegedly oh, and... right well right well. I mean, and yeah. They, um, you know, they 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 brought it before some judicial commission, and they chose. No, nah, there's nothing here. You know, there's nothing. But here. I mean, like it shows that the Trumpsters' balls, right? To to still pick a guy like that, like, or is it stupid? Like, I, I just don't know. Like, it's just so the Trump is just the Trump man is just so mind bending. Like, I, there's no way. I, I mean, it's my, I, he must have, like, let's be honest. Like, it all, it takes money to make money. And I think the pol- politics is the number one pinnacle. Gates or his family or someone backing Gates must have contributed something to get him this appointment. I mean, you have to, either, yeah. Either way, um, you know, I, I ha- can't say I've studied all of his uh accolades but you didn't get that know, memo bob we had <laughs> that in, uh, in pre-production uh, you didn't get that one uh, no uh, so we need to cut this in post <laughs> yes so. sure. no no and this is no Ruben, yes, post, yes 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 we're gonna get rid of this but no i i i'm not gonna complain and until i see he Number one, does something bad, or number two, doesn't make it past Congress. So. Well, there was a shocker that Garvey, your boy Garvey, as a Republican, didn't win in California. I mean, California is so lefty, man, your state. Who's that guy? He lost to Schiff again. I hate that fucker. God, I hate that fucker. That piece of dog <laughs> shit. Trying to get Bob, trying to get Bob, everybody to swear. He 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 does once in a while, but Bob, you've got a pretty good demeanor. I'll, I'll swear sober. He, I don't give a shit. He can lie to you and keep a straight face, and he's got like this. He doesn't have a frown or a smile. He just has a like a flat. Yeah, he'd be I'm a just, great. Is he a good poker player? Is that that's a good trait for a poker player? He, I don't know, but he's just got a flat affect, and <laughs> he's a fucking liar. Yeah. Like, oh, you know, there are so many, you know, he's still saying uh, Trump is a Russian stooge. He's right. still saying. Yeah. yeah. He's still saying. Well, that, Bob, so much has been happening now. I mean, let's, yeah, we got to get into that, uh, but... I, you know what, I, I, I kind of liked, oh, it's just money, money begets money, right? And you see the Kennedys, one of the richest families ever in, in Americana. And so now Robert Kennedy, Kennedy, health and human services, he's not a doctor. He's got that throat issue. Well, that's neither here nor there. Anybody could be injured, you know, going in or what have you. But he's totally anti-pharma. Everything that... America's our social our capitalistic healthcare system is based on he's against so I'm kind of like I'm kind of like that's cool because I want to see where this goes what's your what's your opinion on that on Robert Kennedy is the the hell czar so I have pharma is um a two-edged sword number one they make breakthroughs that no other country in the world could ever do, and it costs yeah, but with with twenty side effects, though, Bobby. <laughs> it, it it costs them a boatload of money. Yeah, and, and, and yeah, and about a small village of guinea pigs in Africa that they do. <laughs> um, yeah. Who cares, about that? Oh, Bob? Yeah. See, that's people. That's when you've got to watch Bob for those subtle subtle comments right there. But. um 
but you know, so they they make this breakthrough. They sell their drug for a huge amount. Then it comes up for time to you know it's that patent is going to expire. <laughs> right. Yes. It, yes. It can go generic. Right. And right. They, they tweak one thing, and they say, "Oh no, this is no you. Our patent is now seven years more." Right. And right. so they're just they're milking the government, they're milking the people, and that that's gotta stop. And so I, I support Bobby. Yeah. Yeah. And his thing with the food, the food in the US. Oh, it's garbage, so, brother. I mean, but is, like, let's preface again, Bob and I, I'd like to say I'm a drunkard. So I think, Bob, we like our drink. But, Bob, don't you feel, I just feel, and I love Vietnamese food. Bob, you don't eat it as much as I do. I loved it. Uh, not as much as Thai food. I can't wait to get back on that. But I feel much more healthy eating Asian food. Now, I wonder why Asians are slimmer, more fit than we Yanks. We are sedentary. We just sit in our cars, go through drive throughs right, and eat this sugar-laden oh. crap. Look at the two of us. Uh, <laughs> m minus twenty years, um, we could pass the military health. Yeah, uh, more exam. than eighteen-year-old Americans. Yes, Seven, seventy percent of <laughs> the Americans cannot pass it because they're too fucking fat. I know, Bobby. I they saw this. I they, saw they this when I I went they back. Yeah, when I went back the second time, I was 28, and I'm beating the shit out of 17-year-olds who just played that. That was the beginning of the video game technology. I'm like, holy shit. Uh, let's go back to some of those. But what's disturbing is recently, I don't know if you've been watching the news. I, I've been remiss just uh, in my own thing. Um, so, yeah, we'll go go back to some of the, the, the picks, because I think it's just, it's, he's wild. He's, he's really... You know, that's the coined phrase online, a disruptor. Trump is the fu is a fucking disruptor. I, to be honest, I thought he was going to win and play it safe. But he's not, man. He is fucking, he, that is his style. Uh, so it'll be interesting, you know, for the next four years. Uh, but now, what I'm thinking now, did you just know what, what's going on with the Ukraine and Russia? Now, is Putin threatening nuclear weapons? Have you been keeping up with this yeah. now? He's threatening nuclear weapons because Biden is gave, a pussy. But he gave Ukraine permission to use long-range U.S. missiles. Now, this, my mind, immediately went to... I just found out about this today. Like, at lunch, I was watching some French news. I don't, I don't keep up. And by the way, if anyone's lived in China, you know, like, everything is peaceful here and, and lovey-dovey. If anyone has ever heard the history of the Smurfs, right, Bobby? Th they said the Smurfs are based on the CCP. That was like the village, right? The whole, the, you know, like everything's, hee -hee, you know. Um, so like you get to see nothing if you watch. So I'm at, at in the, the dining facility and it's like, it's all like, oh, NASA, you know, we're kicking ass, you know, yeah, China. They don't show the rest of the world's uh, problems and tumult. Um, so... I haven't used that word in a while, Bob. Tumult. Uh, they don't show. They, I think it's tumult. I, I, Jesus. I did say tumult. Did I? I said tumult. All right. All right. Right. I think it's French as well, tumult. They don't show the underbelly, right? You know that. Like, for those people who haven't, don't know China as well as Bob and I, like, China just doesn't show the negative effects. Of China. Like. Well, if, if there's a school shooting in yeah. the United States... Oh, yeah. Oh, they'll, for like, yeah, for like the whole year, they'll blast it. Yeah. But, yeah, yeah. But, which, by the way, that's another episode. All the rash, rash of craziness here with cars, right? It just, people, it just doesn't have to be a, a, a gun. Cars, did you see the guy in Zuhai, Bob? 35 no, people. I, yeah. So, wh there's your mass murder, you know? Driving... Like, Driving in uh, like in ovals and just hitting anything. Bob, even you could have gotten out of that one. You <laughs> no, but it, it's like I make fun of Bob. Bob's got Bob's ankles. I make fun of Bobby's is it is immobility. 
it is. What's 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 going? What's getting into their minds when? I don't they, know. I mean, but it, it you know, but there's still so many people here in this country. You know that, Bobby. Like, and it's the stampede effect that they just don't. Like I'm just I'm I'm like a ninja. Once I see that shit happening, man, I'm fucking getting the fuck out of there. You know, I'm not pushing. It's not like, but I, I envision like that panicked, like football stadium. You know, soccer, right? E, like everyone rushes, like yeah, and then they just got stampeded. Um, but no, so like with Putin now, this reminds me of now what happened to the Trumpster at the end of. 2000 right well god bob it's been that long with the virus where in my opinion the world just fucked them out of that election yeah. right where wow. i thought they were going to do it again they didn't do it again thankfully the american people won the voice thankfully in my opinion but now i think they're going to sucker Biden. biden's going to go like go we're going to get into another war the the war machine is dusting off for America again, every generation, we're going to get in another war, and then it's going to really bind the Trumpster's hands. I mean, that's how I interpret um, it. What do you think? So Europe has um, kind of put their foot down on Russia. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's, yeah. yeah. Germany, Sweden, they, and uh, Poland. Yeah, but this, hold on, Bobby, I, I always interject. I always love getting in fights with the Krauts. We're not going to get many German subscribers because I, I really... No, they always ask, why are you Americans still in our country? And I just simply put it. I say, because we don't trust you fuckers. That is that is it. That is the dead truth, Bob. And so guess what that pipeline, right? They talk about Russia, but they certain, certainly went behind Poland... And Sweden's back and had to have that pipeline from Russia, didn't they? I mean, what a bunch of sneaky fucks. But, uh, um, so, I don't, I don't think this is Biden's war to get involved in. Just because Europe, is, they, they kind of, they want to take care of it on their own. They want to well, that's fucking fabulous then. But they won't. They're a bunch of pussies. Yeah, Period. But- but if your prediction is correct, it's gonna it's gonna happen within the next month. It's got to happen within the next month. So you mean nukes going into Ukraine or nukes going? I don't where? know. I, I think I think Putin. I think Putin's testing the electoral waters, so to speak. Right? I think he's a genius. I, I don't think I think his his people don't want to be in this fight. But I think that was one of his objectives was to take back as much of Mother Russia as possible. Um, So I think if there's anyone in the world that I would not play chess with as a a global leader, it's Putin. Uh, Yes. Clearly, he's not stupid. And... Whereas um, in... Whereas... Did you remember? Did I show you that cartoon? With uh, Biden and uh, playing, playing chess with uh, <laughs> with Putin, and Putin, and he goes, and he goes, or and Biden's like he's like, uh, or what did he do? He's like, oh, double cross or something like this, or like you know when you say something in checkers, <laughs> and, yeah. and Putin goes, we're playing chess, you fucking idiot. <laughs> Uh, I didn't see that cartoon, but I can see it in my head, mm-hmm. and I, I'm absolutely sure that that could be a reality. Yes, not a, yes. Not a, not just a joke. It could yeah. be reality. So I mean, but I mean, what do you think I, his his intentions are by by threatening now? Yeah. Time. Beer beer break, or pisser. Both. All right. Hey, yeah. Who's that? All right. This is where we'll have to, Bob. We need a uh, advertiser. I'm, I'm going to grab another beer too. Sorry, everybody. This will take us a couple couple mics.
Damn the X. Pass. We'll do, I'll try to get one for Pass, Bob. Oh no, let's do one for. Ah, oh, shite. All right, I'm back. So this is brought to you by Ursidae Beer. You say Ursidae, and I say fuck your eye. I don't know. I, we need some sponsors here, Bobby. I've also got the wine as well. But I also, I forgot to premise Bob, the killer. My main man, the San Francisco giant himself, the San Francisco slayer, the SF sniper. I'm trying, Bob, we need some, I, we, you can either do it one or two ways. We can either solicit advertisements or we just start doing it for them and then the hopes that they pay us later with either free beer or like, so this is a, this is a Ruski beer, Bob. Ursus. This is uh, Sa Saigon's finest. Yes, yes, there you go. Yes, yes, yes. And of course, we hashtag it so it clicks onto other links by, via Saigon. Yeah, yes, yes. Okay, today Bob's promoting via Saigon. Good times. Yes. Drink beer Saigon. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, I've got, I've got the bear. The, I, I, I did... You know, I'm, a, I'm an American, Bob. I like diversification when it comes to my alcohol. So I've got the uh, Ursidae, Ursidae beer. For when you say Ursidae, I say, ooh, that hurt. I don't know. I don't know what's a good gimmick. for, for Are you open one. yet? No. Let's do it, Bob. The second half of the show. Here we go. There we, there we go. Full tip. So I'm beginning. So... I don't remember. Sometimes, Bob, are you sitting down for this comment? Mostly, <laughs> okay. always. Sitting down. So I sometimes I don't remember how I get back to my university flat here, right? Like I just, I just, I don't. Miraculously, I wind up back here, right? It's just some way, somehow. So it's I'm always. CCP. What's that? You know. What's that? It's a CCP. They yes, yes, up. yes, yes, yes. So I. Somehow I make it back, and I'm always like, but I think I'm congenial, and I, I'm a man of the people, and I, I really like the security guards, because that is a thank, thankless job, especially in Dongbei, where it's just cold as fuck. I don't even know why they have these gates, but that's China's way, you know, the, the Great Wall, they just love gates, they love it, that's their culture. So these poor bastards, some of these guys, you know, the night shift, they have like a fireman shift, right, Bob? You worked at a uni where it's like, you know, on two days, whatever the fuck. So like today, just after my mock presentation, whatever the fuck it was. So I go and they think all these guys and they know I speak Chinese, but they, you know, it's like just culturally, they don't say much. It's all the thumbs up bullshit. I think they do that to themselves. They, you know, that's another episode. These Chinese can't really understand themselves, right? You know, but anyway, so like thumbs up and then they're bumping me. Just, you know, in Chinese, yeah, of course I'm buying beers. I'm not out here to, you know, to, to give you guys a lesson on English decorum or something. Of course I'm buying beers, boys. So then I go in and it's always just like, and I'm thinking, oh, what did I do last time? Did I, because sometimes, Bob, I'm very nice. And if I've got a sixer, I'll give whoever's on duty, right, a beer. So... You know, basically, that's my that's my way of saying, Bobby, if I show up shit face and I can't open the gate, just push push the fat American like inside. Yeah. When I was um, working there in China, all the security guards had a bottle of Baiju. Yes. In, oh, yeah. Oh, a, yeah. And in what what hut. province were you in Hunan? Where were you, Bob? I was in uh, Shandong. Oh, that's nice. In, that's a nice one. That's, yeah, yeah. I was in Inner Mongolia. You were in Namong? You were in Inner Mongolia? <laughs> How the fuck was that? That's colder than Dongbei. Froze. <laughs> not my ass off. 
my feet, my hands, and my tits off. Yes. Oh, Bobby, my hand, look at this. It's already arthritis cracked. Like, oh, it's brutal, brutal. Today was a nice day, though. That's great. Um, it was, um, well, there's a good side and a bad side to everything. It yeah, was, no, um, yin yang. That's what I've learned here. Look, you know, at the end of the day, you know, it's still a changing economy every which way. I, it's going to be interesting to see what Trump does. But technology is not. Oh, this is all right. So going back, right? Like, forget Putin for now. Like, hopefully we don't get suckered into another world war. I just don't want the American war machine, right, to just get going again. That's just dumb. Um, is that, uh, where was, oh, with, like, in, like inflation and all of this and the economy. Oh, with Elon Musk. We talked about him in the first episode. So now his cost-cutting measures, but that's just, Ultimately, that's just going back to the same problem, Bob, is that technology is replacing human labor. So I, I, I just don't, I don't know. It's like, it's really, this, this will be probably the four greatest years of economic interest, especially for America, to see how Trump navigates this. Right. Uh, so I remember you kissing about this back at the fake, university saying ai is going to take our jobs mm -hmm. like no they're not uh, well no i i say this because of rhetoric like there's still we still can ask questions quicker than ai i still say it's coming but a lot of the reason is and like this university and especially high school and after school programs bob it's really it's it's a it's a paid, it's an intelligent daycare, mm -hmm. right? But I'm, what I'm saying is if the parents don't have job, they, can, they can't pay for us anyway. So what's the point if their jobs are getting replaced by AI? That's where I'm trying to get at, Bobby. So when... Uh, <clears throat> and by the AI... way, for, sorry, for people who don't know, Bob was a, a software engineer. He actually invented everything that Elon Musk did, but Elon Musk stole it from him because he's smarter. <laughs> uh, it was wasn't I can't say stolen. It was Bob, I'm joking. Come on. No, what were you saying? Finish it up about AI. Um when the AI computer breaks, who's gonna fix it? When but that's AI the whole robot, point, Bobby. Right. You've seen how life imitates art, art imitates life. The, eventually a like AI will be inventing ai it's going to be a self-replicate it's going to be a a replicating program like like terminators they're going to be building their their own um that's a possibility and so i heard a theory recently where you're you're right to say the next four years is a challenge a tech technology challenge especially for a the technological and economic technological more than because, we've ever seen yeah because the united states may be kind of try to creep into ai but china doesn't give a fuck they're they're just gonna go balls out right so this is why this has been now my beef here because you see this economy tanking because they are they are ahead of us with that. So really, I'm like, they're, they're idiots because they are building their own labor shortage and their own la economic shortage, right? I don't understand their business model at all here. With all due respect wow. to the guy that gives me my work visa, you know, yeah, but yeah. Yeah, but the, the thing is, they don't understand their business model. <laughs> right, either. right, right, right. They're just like, uh, problem there? Okay, throw some money at it. Problem there? Throw some money at it. Right, but eventually they're going to have, they, they already do. They have a load of disgruntled, unemployed people. And that's only going to grow. That's only going to get worse, Bobby. 30% of uh, new college grads are unemployed. Right. 
and they're saying the same thing, that Zuhai guy. It's all e economy. If you go ballistic and you kill people, it's all economic. A lot of it's economic or repressive issues, right, that you internalize. This guy, he got uh, out of, he had a sloppy divorce decision. So he decides to are, ram his car, yeah. We are digressing from the point of the show, which is... Uh, <laughs> depressing. Trump's this is when we have Bob and I after several beers, I'm then we get depressing. depressing. <laughs> Digressing. Digressing. All right. Well, how do we elevate this show? I don't know, Bob. I mean, I could talk about trying to Tulsi lure Gabbard. you up, trying to lure you up to Thailand. Um, that Tulsi, would be... Tulsi Gabbard. Oh, I see. I don't know this chick. You're you're one of my friends who have really promoted this chick. I don't know really anything about this chick. And again, you know what? I, I do sound very mas ma uh, misogynistic, um, but I'm kind of happy, though, that the Trumpster has a lot of, like, white heterosexual men, it seems like, now in his cabinet. Like, so he's given at least white men a chance. Did you see that there was a study, like, granted by the Heritage, though, about the State Department being discriminatory against men? And I go, no, really? Like, duh. <laughs> like, I mean, what did that cost? Yeah, right, 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 right. <laughs> to discover that they're, they're gender-based, racist, you know, gender genderist against men. No shit, really? Um, but who is, is Tulsi Gabbard? Is she legit? Is she, I've heard her speak. I'm not that keen on her speaking voice, she's, but. Uh, okay, so she's uh, been, uh, officer in the reserves for 20 years right she can she continues to serve and she was well um, bobby you know i was a very uh, junior gradish officer and i just not that i'm masochistic bob ah, but to me the the military should be one standard and Females, definitely. Now it's so diversified, everyone gets these leverage points for promotion from physically to everything. It's kind of like golf. The tee, the driving tee is, all right? So, you, like, not that I ever wanted, like, I ever wanted to be a lifer. There's no way I would have, Bob. You know me. I would have been just hung over on many, many call lines or whatever. But there was just no hope anyway. That was part of the reason. I was like, no way could I, like, there's no way. Maybe I would have become a captain after 20 years. You know, you just get washed out. You get washed out because you're not female, because you're not that minority, because you're not a minority female, right? So deployed to Iraq, Iraq and Afghanistan, and Tulsi, Tulsi was, yeah, and served like I said twenty years, and the fucking Dems are calling her a Russian tool. I don't and know where. I, see, Bob and I, we we were of the same ilk, but Bob, I don't know what you listen to. I don't like. I listen to lamestream media, so I don't really get. I don't watch the youtube channels as much as you the deep dark web what do you what do you watch that's saying that says all this no i i just watch um regular news channels but they happen to be mostly fox so that's conservative but but they they put in msnbc and msnbc is saying yeah she's a russian oh she's a russian plant she's not a tool she's a plant yeah, I don't. I don't know how they get away with all that nonsense. Based on what, you know? Yeah. Has anybody ever asked you? Did you know that? What was the? What's the rumor though? That did you remember the rumor that Putin has video of Trump getting golden showered on by two Russian hookers? Like, yeah, everybody, <laughs> everybody's heard that. <laughs> He should let that fly. I'd be like, let it show, it let it play me, out, man. If it, if it was me, I'd be like, post that mm -hmm. shit. I'm going to get more popular. Yeah, I'd be <laughs> chanting that. I'd be like, lock her up and post that shit. Post that shit, yes. 
So anyway, yeah. man, I love you. We're coming up on the hour here, man. But um, so anyway, so yeah, I mean, much always to discuss with you, man. So this is good. We do this. I don't know. Did I, I don't know. Did I pub? Uh, it take it took forever to, to to upload. That's the other thing. Upload an hour of content. It takes fucking forever, you know. And then yeah. Um, so you're not getting any bells and whistles from Bob and I. Two drunk yanks abroad. We're too lazy. We got to do other things to survive. But uh, so anyway, man. I like again, Bobby. I'll buy your one way up to uh, Chiang Mai. But how you're ever gonna get back to your missus? I don't know. To our advertisers or potential advertisers. Yes. If you want to see your business go down in <laughs> yes, <the> yes, yes. <laughs> and rise up like a phoenix, yes. come with us. Wait, I think we, we just we just got we just got told not to promote this bottle of wine from China, but I'm going to promote it anyway. This is called oh. Shang Chang Ming. So we I, we just got I a WeChat also- message. Emergency message: Do not promote this bottle here in China. So I'm going to do I was it anyway. Also told again. <laughs> this is two times yes. now. Not not to promote, to promote via just via Saigon. Saigon. Yes. Yeah. Saigon. Yes. Regular. It comes in red. Yes. Yes. It comes yes. In extra special. Yes. You didn't get it. But do you all right, have we have you done research? I think you need to hit to make any serious money, you need to hit like the hundred thousand subscriber mark, right? To make uh, any it's a, it's a million. And what what do you know? Do you know what do they get for a million subscribers per month? They get a plaque. <laughs> no. Well sure. I mean mon- monetarily wise, what do you think? But see, Joe Rogan, he gets money from Spotify. He gets money like from YouTube and Spotify just to be on there. Plus, I think whatever, right? Yeah. Yeah. So the the direct money is really low. It's the advertising. Right, and you're always see you're always at the hands of Google. So they, I mean, you could have a hundred subscribers, but they could say, "Oh, you didn't get. You only got." two views for your last episode, right? So you want the subscribers, you want a spinoff, right? To where then they invite you and me for opening somewhere or, right, to do something else. Um, but it's, man, it's, yeah. It's enticing, really, man. You really see all these... available for appearances, dicks in or dicks out. Yeah, pornos, pornos, yeah. Um, skin, yeah, skin flicks. Uh, I mean, it's enticing. Like you see, I think we're just every bit as entertaining. I would have liked Perth Peter on there. You met him, or you heard of him? This guy from Australia. But I, Bob, I think our show, you and me, you know, shooting the shit for an hour is every bit as good as that. Who is it? Andrew Schultz. I mean, he's funny. But I mean, like what? Like what's his podcast that you and I aren't doing? You know, have you seen him? That comedian. Nah, I haven't seen him, but yeah, he's he's like he's yeah he's pretty. You know, I've been watching is uh, do you know Gillis that does the Trump impression? I I know who he is, but I don't watch any. Yeah, yeah. he wasn't that good on SNL on Saturday Night Live, but he's he's great. He does a very good Trump impression. Oh, um, before we head off, yes. Um, I have a personal message, uh, for somebody who has to suck my dick. Who's it? Oh, these are, oh, these, what this used to be called shout outs. Bob's got a shout out. Rachel Maddow, you need to suck my dick, except I don't let men suck my dick. And you're not. Do you know what we can do? I'll have to remember that now on Facebook. Like, and then I don't promote, I don't, not on Facebook, but on YouTube, you can promote, like, Bob, I don't have time, we don't have time for this shit, but I can hashtag, not hashtag, I can ampersand Rachel Maddow's show to where then, like, somehow we'll get her subscribers to, like, after that. I always thought she was hot. 
You know who I'm talking about. I right? think she, I think she's a hot dyke. I thought she was a hot lesbian. Dyke. I thought she was and sexy, the, man. Yeah. And the, the the woman that says, if you get the vaccine, you will never ever get COVID. You cannot give COVID. Oh yeah. Real quest, real quickly, man. I think we got like five more minutes of coming up on the hour. But like, like you look back. So, Bobby, this is really this is five years, bro. Five years coming up Winter Festival. I, I, same time, same place. I really do think, though, Bob, I'll have to put this as a cover. I ate crocodile meat within three days of arriving in Bangkok, and I laid the wicked, the most wicked fart. And I think that was the kicker. I don't think it. I don't think it originated in Wuhan. I think my fart kicked off this whole <laughs> fucking. I'm pretty positive. Of it. And I don't. I don't think anybody in Thailand. <laughs> yes, it would have survived. Out. Yes. So anyway, bro, like, what do you think of that nonsense? So this is what like Robert Kennedy. He's just like, I mean, enough and enough and that was just so asinine. The mass, the fucking, the jabs. Um, you know, for those two, two, two and a half, three years, whatever, yeah. America just turned into a clown show. It was, it was a clown. It was not. But I was reality. actually, Bobby, I was in freer Cambodia, which that's another tale unto itself. We could talk a whole episode on... You know, on, on, on our on the existence on what happened. But I heard you guys had a tough you guys had a tough over in Vietnam. Like like they closed down a lot for a long time. Uh, we I was locked in for a month or so, but they they were really good about they delivered food. Oh, all right. Know? See now so, that doesn't make sense. That's like the stupidity of the whole thing. So like they can't transmit the virus, like you know, like it's just it's so it's so nonsensical, man. Everything about COVID, <laughs> right, right. Know, it it is like you know, I I had COVID. I felt oh, we, we it's still sick. around. I'm sure it's still around. I'm sure we're gonna I get felt, it. I felt a little bit sick for a day and a half. Right, it, it's less than the flu. Yes. If now, if you're 400 pounds and you've got diabetes yes all right bye i'm bye. speaking of which i'm surprised scott bob didn't kick off during but he's not a smoker though he's not a smoker but you know and this is gonna sound really bad and probably get this video banned but hey if you died of covid that's kind of like god taking out the track oh bobby and on, on that note on that joyous note as we've just drank and we've digressed to this wishing ill upon people all right brother always good here's a cheers from uh my russian sponsor ursa die to your buy a pea cup as you as pea cup as always all right bob good talking to you man i'll, I'll, sh I'll shoot you more pictures of my dick right after this some dick pics and then I'll chat with you next week, my friend. All right. Love you, yeah. Bobby. All right. Take care, Thanks. man. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.